groups through those type of social events and things like that? Yeah, we do a few things. I run a few different meetup groups from meetup.com. Yeah. Um, that's worked found, very well for a, us. Have you found that a good, uh, a good avenue, it's, meetup? One of the best things we ever did was started. Right? We, we've been holding meetups for the real estate community. We started about three years ago where we stopped sending salespeople out to real estate offices to sell our product or to, to push the product at real estate offices. And we started what we called the real estate technology meetup. And the idea behind it is every month, realtors come, the realtors that are interested in real estate technology come to us, come yeah. to me, to a location that I've chosen, some bar usually. And um, we treat it as it's meant to be an educational event. So everybody comes, they're paying for parking, they're buying their own beer, they're buying their own food. We don't pay for any of that stuff. What we do is bring in a different speaker every month to educate them on real estate technology. Right. So they're not coming to an Ubertor pitch every month because nobody would come. Nobody would come back. It would be lame. And yet, so what we do is we take the educational stance of here's Twitter for real estate and we've got this guy coming to talk about it. And next week is – or next month is going to be um, – how to use voice over IP for your business from a real estate specific point of view. So that the point of it is everybody's leaving the meetup thinking, well, that was worth it. I got value from that. And wow, those Ubitar guys really know what's going on. So we go from a supplier to an educator, you know, that happens to be a supplier as well. And realtors can be doing it. They can be doing it for the, the do it yourself homeowner, right? The guy that wants to try and rent his basement and try and build his own bathroom or how to deal with con. And every month you bring in a plumber who's going to talk about, how to do this, and next month it's a drywall guy, and next month, and that's a great way to surround yourself with homeowners. Right. right? You're the realtor that, that's, that's it's tied into all the right people, all the right names, and you're helping, you're providing some value to these, these homeowners. Or maybe it's first time home buyers, or my brother does it with his security company where he does a monthly meetup, and instead of it being like, come on down and listen to Providence Security talk about our, how sweet our service is, it's not that. It's here's how you can secure your home for free. Like, real, you know, real hockey value, stick. Real value. Yeah. Like yeah. hockey stick in the window and how to lock your back gate and five minute proofing your house. So you could yeah. walk out and go and apply these techniques to any security company's product. Right. But it's more that you think, wow, I le I've learned something. I've been educated. And you look a little bit, you look not, you know, better on the Provident or my brother because he's seen as the educator, not just the supplier. Right, right. Right. And there's huge amounts of room for that type of stuff. Now, in terms of posting, uh, somebody who's new to it, how often. How consistent? For Twitter, I think you're either, you're kind of, it works, you're, you know, you're, it's back to the cocktail thing. Like I, I'm on it quite a bit, but it's one of those things, if, if you're at a cocktail party and you're chatting with a bunch of people and learning about dogs and karate or whatever's going on in the cocktail party, that's fine. If you go outside to smoke a cigar for 20 minutes, come back in, what you missed doesn't really matter because it's over. You missed it. You wouldn't walk around the room trying to figure out what's going on. You would just jump back into the conversation. That's kind of how Twitter works, at least for me, where I'm just talking to whoever about whatever's going on at that moment. So you can be as engaged in it as you want. Um, I find it doesn't get very much in my way because I'll be on my phone doing it in the lineup for Starbucks. Or I used to do it at red lights, but don't do that anymore with the, the new laws. <laughs> or uh, you know stuff like that where if you actually look at my whole day, I can't pin down like how much time it took me because I was doing other things while I was doing that. And I think one of the important things is how easy it is. You know, a lot of people totally. out there that don't do it, they don't realize. You know, if you've got a if you've got an iPhone or a BlackBerry, uh, there's easy applications for. You know, like you say, we've always got time to kill, and you can be sitting there. Tweeting, totally. Facebook. And the other thing is, it's not a it's not a like a, a lot of people look at it as oh god, like it's another thing I've got to do now. I find that a lot of my emails are not emails; they're Twitter direct messages. Yeah. This whole little video date we're having here happened via Twitter direct message where traditionally that would have been an email or a phone call for me and yep. you to set up this, right? So it's not adding to my life. It's just we're communicating in a different way. That's kind of the idea is you can't stop people. The consumer gets to choose how you're going to communicate. Like I, a guy wanted to buy 10 books, a realtor in um, Oregon, I think, wanted to buy 10 copies of Sociable. He went onto my Facebook page and wrote it right on my wall. Hey, Steve, I want to buy 10 books. Tell me how that happens. Like, that's, you know, if I wasn't on Facebook, maybe I wouldn't have got that order, but that's, he didn't choose to email me or phone me or do it on the sociable book website. He, he just blurts it out on my wall, right. right? So, you know, I've got to be agile to deal with people the way they want to deal with me. Now, a little bit about your website company. The websites you provide, this is strictly for realtors or are you providing it's websites? It's built for, 
Yeah, it's built for realtors. So it's a, it's a web product that allows them to build and maintain their own websites. Um, it, 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 because it's so flexible and customizable, we've got lots of mortgage brokers, dentists, restaurants, like random things, our businesses end up signing up for it. But the vast majority of our client base is by far, obviously, real estate agents because it does so much stuff in and for the real estate community. Like most of the business people I talk to, newbies, they, they get a little scared with technology. So I guess yeah. is it, when I say is it ready to go, is it kind of one of those things where you want a website, you call you guys up, you can be up and running pretty quick. You've got a lot yeah, of well, add-ons. You go to the, yeah, you go to the Ubertour site and sign up. It takes about 90 seconds to have the site up and running. But a sign up on our site, we don't consider a customer, really, like no. it is. But it, it, to us, it's triggering us to now earn your business because there's no setup fees. We give everybody 30 days for free. There's no contracts. So we know if, we, if you don't make it to the 30 days to start paying us, you're not – we're not gaining, we're losing money. Right. So the minute they sign up on, on the website, we take that as the, a trigger to start working to achieve them to stay. So it triggers a phone call to say, okay, you know, Mark, what, what do you need? What's your, what are you specifically looking for? Do you have an existing site? Is this new for you? Is it a new site? Do you own a domain name? And we try and go through all these loops and figure out what they're comfortable doing, what they need help doing. We try and do our best to do, you know, help them with whatever they need help with or put them onto a resource that can help them. But we work very hard to handle the, the, the sort of the setup or what we call the jumpstart process um, to ensure that it's as, as easy as possible for them and we can help them as little or as much as they need. We take a different stance, I think, than most web providers for any business, but it's, you know, in our world for realtors because we work to educate the realtor on the importance of getting involved in the website, writing the blog, creating video, being on Twitter, like doing these things that we can help them with but we can't do for them. Mm -hmm. where lots of our competitors just say, like, slap it up, and here's all these automated things that can happen, and, and, and you know, it's, it's, you don't need to touch it. It'll just do it. And I think if you're not on your website at least an, at least an hour a week, why would a customer? Right, right? Right. If you're not on there 10, 15 minutes a day, why would a customer? If it's the same garbage content that every other website's got, it's useless. I found them really beneficial because I've got people getting to know me without really meeting me because they're watching totally. the videos, which is it's a great thing. Ex doing exactly what we're doing and what you're doing is, is exactly what I'm talking about. You're using this medium. to It's like your meetup.com. Shane Gibson and I, my co-author, we started about January last year writing this book. Um, it's sociable. Actually, it's copy right here. Yep. So the, the idea behind it was uh, to, to build, because I get asked a lot of questions about how we use these tools to promote my businesses. And um, so we, we decided let's like kind of make a, almost a handbook, which explains how the business works or how these tools work and some real examples of here's you know, this type of person and this type of business doing it. And uh, Shane and I wrote it very unconventionally where we sat down and literally recorded verbally with each other and sent that file to India, had it transcribed, got the file back, and then we cut up that Word document into a book. Um, and then had it edited from there. So because we did it verbally, it's very conversational because the way you speak and the way you write are very different. So it's a much, I think, an easier read. Lots of stories are in it. Of It's not like, you know, here's how you use this tool, but here's a realtor that used this tool, and here's a, a security company that used this tool, and real-life examples of how it works and what's going on. And so it's, it was, it's become, you know, I think it's pretty pretty handy book for all sorts of sales and marketing professionals, and that's kind of the idea. It's meant to be kind of a, a handbook mm -hmm. on, on what to do, and you can, you can read it straight through, or you can read it backwards or chapter by chapter, or whatever order you want, because it's, you know, it's, it's uh, specific to tools, you know, each different tool and how they can work and how they can help.